Well, well, I find myself once again here at Arby's in Harrisburg, Illinois. I'm looking forward to trying their hush puppy breaded fish uh, strips. That's what I couldn't remember if it was fish or tenders, whatever it was. Let's go eat it. been a long time but I did a video in here before this is a pretty pretty cool bathroom because it's so big and you lock the door it's it's meant for one person but it's so large there's no stall door or anything all this space just for you at Harrisburg Arby's well here they are and they smell good Here's some very questionably colored tartar sauce. I'm going to try it first with no tartar sauce so that I can capture its full essence. And now with some of the weirdo tartar sauce. Whoops. That didn't work out so well. Now I know what all of you are saying, Chad, what's it like? Chad, were they any good? Yes, they were good. I think that the whole hush puppy breading thing is a bit of a gimmick though, because it just seemed like fish breading. To me, uh, maybe it kind of tasted like hush puppies vaguely. Maybe it had a vague resemblance to hush puppies, but ultimately it's just fish tenders. They call them, what do they call them? Fish strips, whatever. I also enjoyed a half pound roast beef that I couldn't hold with one hand and, and film me talking about it. It, of course, was the typical Arby's roast beef. It was good. I put Arby sauce and horsey sauce on it. I just realized I forgot to get any shots of the inside of the store. Sometimes I can do that, sometimes I can't. It just depends on the mood and how many people's in these places that I visit. If you like fish, I'd say try these Hush Puppy fish strips because they, they were pretty good. The tartar sauce looked kind of weird. It was like Long John Silver's tartar sauce where it just basically tastes like mayo. There's barely any relish or whatever they use to flavor it up with. With all that said, if you're looking for an Arby's to hit up, the Harrisburg, Illinois one basically never disappoints.